Chad Vader. <laughs> I'm testing Wade this week. Wade, Wade, Wade has no idea what's going on from like moment to moment. I come, I sit down, Mark rambles, I occasionally chime in. Oh, I hear you, man. There oh, we go. <laughs> that was uncalled for. Hi, Chad. Hey, how's it going? Fantastic. So uh, what's going on at the Empire Market? Anything fun? Funsville? It's always fun at Empire Market. Every day is a new adventure. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> well, can you, well, can you tell us what's happening in the news? How about that? I, I certainly can. <laughs> Dimension Films plans to revive the Hellraiser franchise and show us all the true meaning of suffering. Promising to take you to the further reaches of experience and make pleasure and pain indivisible, Todd Farmer and Patrick Lucier have been tapped to helm the reboot, much to the delight of horror fans, sullen goths, and S&M fetishists everywhere. <laughs> the reboot promises to bring back all of your old favorite characters, including Nailhead, Pasty Face, Chattery Mouth, <laughs> Fat and camera head. <laughs> Our suffering will be legendary, even in hell. <laughs> oh, it's the worst. Why Awful. Do do? This is terrible. I didn't like all those cheesy 80s films. You know, it's the thing with these 80s films is that they all cost like $2 million dollars back in 1980, whatever. Yeah. Now they're going to throw $30 million well, at it and turn the, it into a horrible the thing, reboot. The thing with Hellraiser was that it had the unique signature of Clive Barker. And I, you know, I think redoing it, they're gonna. It, it's gonna be like all the Wes Craven films that they that they keep remaking. They don't feel the same when they're sort of divorced from his sensibilities. And I think you you take Hellraiser away from Clive Barker, and suddenly it's gonna just feel like uh, Dark City with maybe a little bit more gore. Well, no, you, no. Look, it's always the same thing. It's 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 a it's it's a CW cast. Yeah. Right. True. And all of them are all half naked because yeah. you know they're at the lake or whatever it is. And then uh, I, I didn't well, know what Pinhead's thing. they're in hell, you know. Are they in hell? Is that what yeah, it is? Yeah, yeah, I, didn't, yeah. I didn't know what Pinhead's thing. What is Pinhead's thing? I can't remember anymore. Yeah, he's some guy from hell? Pin. Huh? These are no, but he's from hell? Call yourself yeah. a movie critic. Yeah, he's from hell. No, I yeah. call myself a, a lover of good movies, not like Hellraiser. He's got Chad, stick up wow. for me. Come on. Pins. Sorry, man, can't do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, fine, I'll then. Read another story. See if I care. Okay. <laughs> if that's how you want it, that's how you'll get it. <laughs> M. Night Shyamalan's next film is something called 1000 AE, and it is currently being developed at Overbrook, Will Smith's production company. The film is thought that uh, they think it's going to be a vehicle for Jaden Smith, but as, as of now, Will Smith has no plans to be in the film. Tensions were reportedly high between Shyamalan and Smith on their first meeting when Shyamalan spied Will Smith eyeing his lemon drink. Why are you eyeing my lemon drink? M. Knight asked. <laughs> oh, hell no! <laughs> and things got more heated from there. But after a relaxing round of getting jiggy and making the next work, both men calmed down and things went a lot smoother. <laughs> what? Uh, I, don't, I don't really know how to... <laughs> What's I just can't that? believe he's still allowed to do movies, M. Night. I, I, that, I, I was as soon as he said M. Night, no, but he didn't like, write really? this. No, but he didn't write this. He's not directing it. But he's directing, it, but he didn't write it. But he should not be allowed to do anything having to do with movies. No, he's just. It's like ever since it's been straight downhill. Every time I think he can't possibly make a worse film than the last one, he does. He does. I mean, it, it's just it's mind-boggling. Why, why, why can't we just? Toss him into the television bin and be rid of him. And you've you've got to figure Get that a television series. Just let him create it's some true. crap well, on TV. It's your typical failing upward. At least that's what happens in TV. It's always about failing upward. Yeah. That was a horrible thing. Oh, you've got a better job now. And so I guess it's the same. But how many more movies does he have to screw up before people realize he's the kiss of death? And 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 what what uh, what video does he have on Will Smith? Something maybe NC-17 rated, something no. to wind up on the internet to know. make Will Smith want to get in business with this guy this is, who's done nothing but I guess failures. The question is, maybe these deals were in place before no. these movies keep coming. No, out. no not this, I mean, not this. No. this is Lady in the Water, from Lady on the Water, which was really an unbelievable low point forward. He's everything he's done has tanked. I don't see. I don't see why. Even he worse than work. even worse than tank, because good movies can tank. Yeah. The thing is that it tanked and it sucked. Yeah. Well, that's that's like a so, double whammy. You and know so did Last Airbender. When, you know you know it's bad when on our YouTube page, Last Airbender is one of the highest hits we have for for our videos, and everybody agrees with you guys. 
Yeah. So you know, <laughs> if we get full agreement that it's a horrible movie. Awful. So I don't know what this thing is about. Obviously, Will Smith is, is really trying to get his son, Jane Smith, out there yeah. and really trying to cultivate him as, as an actor. I thought the kid was fine in Karate Kid. I thought it was all yeah. right. I, I kind of liked the Karate Kid, that reboot. It was it, from it, some very eventually. slow first hour, and then it kind of then it kind of grew into yeah. itself, and it was yeah. okay. You can yeah, see right. that on the Blip page or YouTube page or stupidformovies.com, the review of you guys did of that. Yeah. That is very that true. That's nice. integrate. Yeah, well done. All right, Chad, uh, what else is going on in the world? Well, Mel Gibson will not be appearing in The Hangover 2. Director Todd Phillips wanted the foul-mouthed maniac to do a cameo in the movie, and he had the support of producer Jack Robinoff. But he has since changed his mind due to protests from some members of the cast and crew, mainly co-star Zach Galifianakis. When reached for comment, Mel had the following to say about the situation, and I quote, I think that, <laughs> and I want to, and I, I, that's an embarrassment. I got a husband, got a one, he's got a good. You, sugar tip. <laughs> Thank you. End quote. <laughs> yeah. And the streamy for yeah. this profanity lane rand goes to Chad for sure. Exactly. Well, wow. here's the thing: is that Mel Gibson is going to need to go on some sort of apology tour. He's, he's got to figure it out. The guy's uh, not going to disappear forever. Yeah, he's got, uh, he, but he's got to disappear for a while. Oh yeah. yeah he's got to go away for a while. It's. It, he, and Larry King is. And his thing. Larry King is retiring. <clears throat> Mel's got to yeah. go on Larry King he before does. he retires. He does. You go Piers Morgan? Who, who wants him to retire after Piers Morgan? Softballs? We, yeah, who's who else yeah, softballs? After, after, yeah. after Marv Albert bit that prostitute, how long did he go away for? <laughs> is, he, is he back? Oh, yeah, oh, he's no, been yeah, back yeah. for a few years. Yeah, but no, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah he right, liked, but he he liked, he, has he been on Letterman since? Because that was the big thing with Marv Albert. It was always the Letterman appearances on the old Letterman yeah, show. Yeah, he hasn't been on Letterman since, but yeah. he's working again. But he yeah. went away for like three years. Was it about three years? But here's the thing, though. But he Mar like, but he like he like chomped a, chomped a hooker and then went away for three years. Came back. He's working again. So. Yeah, but but a but hooker. the thing is that yeah. but the thing That's with a um, Byron Byrne coming up. How'd you know that? Chomp the hooker. Chomp the hooker. Oh, okay. <laughs> but the thing with Marv Albert is that, yes, he he, do, he he does national games, but he's also a local guy. But whereas yeah. Mel Gibson, he doesn't do a movie unless it costs $150 million. He is one of the, he is one of the biggest celebrities we have. Well, think, well it, it, but for Mel, it's interesting because he, he's lately been making his own movies, right? I mean, this, the most recent thing, uh, Edge of Darkness, was his first acting gig in quite a long time. I mean, he hadn't done just a straight acting role in years and years and years. It was just straight directing. And... Um, I'm not so sure that Mel even can make his own movies right now. I don't know who would distribute them. And who, well, Mel can pay for his own movies. He has enough money. Not that but he wants to. But they got to get distributed. That is very true. He's going to distribute his movies. Because yeah. also, too, and then we'll uh, then we'll we'll say goodbye to Chad finally. Yeah. Um, the the thing hey. with the hey. the thing with um, hang on, Chad. Thank you. you can yell at me in a second. Um, the thing with Mel is that if you're the if you're the studio, do you want Mel Gibson in this movie? Uh, I would say. It's yeah. one thing to say Mike Tyson, but do you want Mel Gibson? I would say you want him after the apology tour. So you would put him in the movie, and you'd, and you'd shoot the movie, and then while the movie's in post, send him out on his apology tour, and let the apology tour be kind of a marketing preface for the release of the film. Nice. Look at that, huh? Crisis management with Wayne Major. Look at that. Well done. All right, all right, Chad. So that's it, right? That's it. Well, then go back to selling at the Empire Market, Chad. Okay, see you later, you. <laughs> Hope you. <laughs> so sweet. Chad Vader, everybody, come on.